Woo. Welcome again to Military Guna TV. I am your host, Mario Takers. And today we have three players to talk about. Tyreek McGee, Shamar Nicholson, and Corey Burke. Yeah, those are the three players. But before I do that, I want to do something. Um, so I know most of you guys already know. <clears throat> there's a quite a few people asking me how can they become a part of the reggae the reggae boys top fan um, squad. No, what I'll do in the comment section, I will pin the membership link and also the Patreon um, link. What that does, what that does is actually it gives you the opportunity to become a member of the channel or a member of the Patreon, the channel Patreon. And that will, that's how you become um, a member of the football squad, the Reggae Boys um, top fan squad. Now, the Patreon is available for worldwide um, um, viewers. Anywhere you're from in the world, you'll be able to view and you'll be able to join the Patreon because persons that live in Jamaica, when you try the membership, you, you, it will bring it to a blank page. So the Patreon will bring it to a Patreon page where you get all the necessary access to the same things like, as the membership because a Patreon is, a, is the same thing as membership but offers to the, the persons who are locally in Jamaica and in the Caribbean and worldwide. But the membership is actually it's quite difficult, um, very, very difficult. So that's, that's the reason why I created the, the Patreon um, to make it a lot more easier but it's quite easy people so so far we have um still five players no one's added as yet a few people are asking me about it um guys if you want to join um the link will be in the the, the not not only the description but the link will be in the pin comment it will be in the pin comment in the chat so and whilst you're doing that whilst you're going to the pin comment in the chat what i want you to do is hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button i would definitely uh appreciate it if you do so all right so let's get to the meat of the matter all right so the first person to speak about is well, let's talk about Corberg. all right so Corberg is back people um back in color in, in in good colors as well um he played for philadelphia and he came on that actually tonight um it is it is the 31st of november no of october why am i forcing the date 31st of october and he came on in the 82nd minute for Philadelphia Union. So definitely my question to you is that, do you believe that Coburg should get the opportunity to join this squad uh, or as well as that extra striker, another striker to join this squad? Yes, the squad is quite bloated with striker. But remember that Coburg is one of Tapa Whitmore's core players. Remember that he's one of Tapa Whitmore core players. So, do you believe? First question: Do you believe that Tapa Whitmore? Do you believe that he will get recalled? And and my question to you is: Would he get rec um, Would you recall him? And most of you guys already know that Corberg is actually my favorite reggae boy player. Um, so you don't necessarily have to ask me that question. <laughs> um, and I would definitely, I would literally be answering that off bias. So I don't want to ask myself that question, but I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I know most of you in the comment section will be asking me. But do you believe that um, he will get, um, he will be recalled to the squad? And would you recall him to the squad? So let's move away from Corberg to the next player. Let's go to the next player. Oh, I didn't update it. I didn't update it, people. So next player is actually Shamar Nichols. Oh. I, I did not do an update on this, people. I didn't do a, So, people, Damien Lowe, uh, he put in a stellar performance, a solid, well, a, a solid as a rock performance against future FC. 11 clearances, one interception, one shot on target, which was his goal, one key pass, and one big chance created. Now, the first game that he played for um, at the beginning of the season was not the best. It was quite poor, but Def definitely him um taking the next step i, I didn't sell i well i didn't um, announce that i was speaking about damon low but him taking the necessary step now in the second game to step up like the big man that he is and take full control of the situation and put in a stellar stellar performance now 
move away from that. Shamar Nicholson, man of the match performance from Shamar Nicholson, um, scored a goal as well. <laughs> but I, I won't go into all the details with Shamar Nicholson. So, but definitely, um, he scored a goal um, yesterday, actually. Man of, well, man of the match performance, very, very good performance. I'll be giving you guys the updates in regards to stats on my socials quite soon, um, which is the Twitter and also in the Patreons and also in the in, in on my Instagram. So Patreon, Twitter, Instagram. I'll give you guys the updates on that. Now, for the final player, so that's four players. Actually, speaking about four players, I said three earlier. Oh, my word. <laughs> so for the final player that we're speaking about is this man. The young talent, the young prolific talent, Tyreek McGee. Now, before I go any further, guys, I want to remind you that you should hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. And whilst you're doing that, you can also join the Patreon or the member channel membership. And what it does, it also gives you the access to perks using the face emojis of the players that I created. And also join the Reggae Boy Top Fan Squad. And uh, as you can see, it's, it, the squad is quite thin, but definitely you should join it. No, let's get back. Ooh, where are we going? Let's get back to um Tyreek McGee. So these are Tyreek McGee stats so far this season. Two appearances, zero starts, a total of 12 minutes played, averaging 8.5 touch, um, key pass 0.5, which is very good. Accurate pass 6.0. Long ball 0.5 at 100%. Chip pass is 0.5 at 100%. Successful dribbles 0.5 at 100%. And duels one 0.5 at 100%. So quite really good, impre uh, quite impressive stats for only 12 minutes played. But let's look into this now. So Cass Hupin has played 13 games so far this season. That is a total of 1,170 minutes in total for the club. Tariq McGee only featured for 12 minutes. Definitely, I strongly believe that he needs a lot more game time for him to hit his full potential, his maximum potential, and reach that height that he should. Now, my question to you guys is, do you believe that Tariq McGee should be looking for a move, even a loan move, in um, the January window coming up? Um, to get more sufficient more um, game time um, to break even break into the Carl Supen team. The Carl Supen, they rank like six, around six or fifth on the table, but they are doing good in this so far in the season. Um, so and it's quite difficult for Tyre Maggie to break into the squad. A few bench appearances, um, so a few left out of the squad up here, uh, as well. Um, but for now, my question is to you guys: Should he leave? Because if he if he should continue like this. It's going to be very, very difficult for anyone to vote for him to even get a call up because he's not playing. And remember that the coach, um, Theodore Whitmore and Paul Hall Matra, is this. We are picking players based off merit, players who are in form, and play players who are playing consistently. So I personally believe that he needs consistent game time to hit that um, merit um, that merit status that the, that the coaches are looking for. So, people, I actually covered more than what I thought I would cover. Um, Damien Lowe, Tyreek McGee, Korberg, and Shamar Nicholson. Didn't touch a lot on Shamar Nicholson because I'll be doing a stats for a stats based um, content in regards to the, the socials for um, Shamar Nicholson. And you guys know I always do stuff like that. So, at this point in time, people, I personally believe that Tyreek McGee needs to try and get a loan move this January transfer window so that he can get more game time. It can't be a case in which you are playing 12 minutes for the entire season so far out of 13 games. Only 12 minutes. That is not that is not enough. That is definitely not enough for you to hit a real height. And you are talented players. Even even just those 12 just the 12 minutes that you, you, you have played shows um the stats shows that you really really brought something different in those 12 minutes. But we'll see. Um, hopefully you guys tell me what you think. Go, into, go inside of the comment section, guys, and tell me what you think about um, Tarek Maggi. Do you believe that he should make a January transfer move to get sufficient game time? Because game time 
is critical at his age. He's 22 year, years old, and game time is very, very important for him. So, people, I won't go any further. Make sure that you guys have a good day. Please enjoy the rest of your day, people. And uh, wake up. Tell yourself you're going to have a good day. You will have a good day. And people, military Guna TV people, I am out. Peace out.